Hello YouTube, welcome to RV Daydream. Time for a review of a fun product, something that's a little bit fun. And it's probably the most unique e-bike that's on the market for one specific reason. And we're gonna show you that. So stay tuned. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. First thing you notice is, what, there's an e-bike in here? Yeah, normally my unboxing videos, you gotta deal with a box that is huge. I mean, it looks like a small kid's pool table or something uh, because those bikes are so big. Even the folding bikes, the boxes, although they're smaller, uh, they're not this small. And that's because this bike is pretty small. Uh, this thing, I believe, is probably going to be for everybody that watches our videos and talks about e-scooters and how they would fall off and they probably couldn't do a very good job with them. I think this is probably the closest thing you're going to get to a comfortable e-scooter that is actually a bike. So first thing we're going to do, open this thing up and take a look at it um, coming out of the box and then what it's going to take to actually put it together because I don't see a lot of unboxing videos on this one. Hopefully it doesn't need much for tools, but I have them all here if I need to. So let's get into that. All right, so the first thing is lifting off the tailgate. It's not crazy heavy, 53 pounds, 53 pounds. That's with the battery in here. Without the battery, you're talking about 40 pounds. Well, here's the funny thing about that. A 15 pound battery, yeah, this battery's massive for how small this bike is. And that's the key to this whole outfit. You get the manual, obviously. And what's the manual for? Well, this is a Fido L3, and they call it an Aaron's electric bike. So again, this is something you can run around on. I don't know about any kind of long distance or beach riding or anything like that, but I think it's a step above uh, some of these smaller bikes that I've seen. We're gonna see that firsthand though. Next thing out of the box is the charger. This is a three amp charger. The reason it's a three amp charger is because the battery is massive. And that is a 48 volt battery with 23.2 amp hours. That's bigger than all the cruisers we've ever done. That's bigger than everything that I've ever had except for the, uh, the Nan Robot D plus six scooter that we had. That had a large battery to it. And even then, I don't even know if it was that big. I'd have to go back and look, but uh, they need to have a good battery charger. And this is no exception to that. This is pretty nice. It's pretty much all put together. Man, I love this one. Uh, Heidi loves this one too, because she always helps me with the assemblies. So at this point, um, all I gotta do is pretty much lift this out of the box. I'm sure Heidi will have to help because the box usually hangs on and uh, we'll be ready to go. So in the words of Ed Bassmaster, would you look at that? Would you look at it? Just look at it. Look how small this thing is. This thing is tiny. Um, for me, one hand. I'm sure for others, it might be a little bit more. And I was incorrect. It's not completely assembled. Seat post. Looks like I could do a seat post thing. Not a big deal, though. There is a lot of oil on here. They definitely want to keep this lubricated. Um, looks like packaging oil. Oh, it's because it has a spring seat post to it. Wow, that's different. I didn't even know that they had that. So this is some sort of a spring thing. That's going to be interesting to see how that works. And I think I'm safe to say that, to assume that it goes in this way. How about that? Uh, we're going to go ahead and open this up, but as little as this thing is, and you see me lifting it, um, can you believe this holds me? Uh, this not only holds me, but it holds more than me. It holds me and cargo. This thing is rated for 330 pounds. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the fact that the tires um, are a good 
bicycle tire. It's uh, something that uh, has like a little mag wheel on it. So you're not dealing with any spokes and kind of spindly looking thing. And a lot of the scooters are set up that way too. So what we're gonna do is uh, clip off these wire ties. I'm gonna unfold it, put it together for you, show you what it looks like in full size. We'll take the battery out, show you what the battery looks like because that's the star of the show by far. I will have to say though, I am kind of impressed with this seat because I just did a video on a cruiser and uh, I don't think this seat was quite this nice, tell you the truth. Um, as far as comfort, just the way it looks so far, this thing is pretty spongy. So let's go ahead and get to it. The bike itself is ready to go together. And this is the first time I've ever done this. So let's see how easy it is. Um, lifting the bike, turning this around. There's some sort of a spring loaded deal in here to help the, protect the cables. Looks like there's a, a safety latch here. So that closes. This goes down. This is the actual safety latch. Looks like I gotta kind of put that down in there a bit because it's not uh, it's not lined up perfect. There we go. Now it is. Okay. Just had to move this a little bit for that to happen. Does it have a kickstand? Yes, it does. Awesome. I can't believe that. And then I don't know. This is looking pretty darn easy to me. One thing that we're lacking here is the correct handlebar uh, locations. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get this thing back around this way. It does have some nice handlebars on it. I mean, for how small this is, this is, I think, the best answer that we could possibly have for like, wow. These brakes are like right on. But then again, holy cow, look at the front disc on this thing. So what size it is compared to the, the, the tire. I mean, the disc is almost uh, three quarters the diameter of the tire. I'll say half for sure. Got a little headlight on the front here. All right, so now we got to fold out the pedals. Looks like these are kind of like trigger activated. So once they're locked in, the only way you can undo them is you got to pull this thing back and it unlocks it. Same with this side. Nice. Big disc on the back, just as big as the other one. We'll go ahead and flip around to let you see the business side of that. You can see how big that rear disc is. Again, it's got to be, well, at least half the size. I won't say three quarters. All right, we moved it up on the tailgate to make it a little bit easier so you could see all this. Uh, there is a QR code over here that shows you uh, basically the manual at FIDO. Uh, again, the, the, I, I, I can't really explain to you the quality of the bike so far. Um, the powder coat is really nice. Heidi uh, have to tell you about the color because I'm colorblind, but it looks pretty darn good. It's like a, a metal flake. I see some different colors inside there. But getting back to the function of it, um, to get out the battery, which is the star of the show, I keep on saying that, there is a lever that they build in that you just uh, pull up. Real simple to do. It's just a release. And then the key goes in here. They give you an extra key just in case. Right now, this is in the off position. You're gonna push the key in a little bit, and that's gonna put it to the unlock, and then wiggle this out and the battery comes out. You can see up here the big positive connectors for the battery, but this thing is massive. This battery is really massive. Um, I'm surprised. Uh, again, 23.2 amp hour. That is 1113.6 uh, watt hours. It's just a big 48 volt battery. Uh, is this some sort of a Samsung or something? No, they're not LG cells. But uh, again, one year warranty on the battery, one year warranty on the bike. You can charge this while it's still on the bike. That's what this port is here. It just kind of pops off just a little bit and then it swings out of the way. You can see it's a little three pronger. That makes it a little bit difficult to, to plug in and align it up, but it's not horrible. So we'll go ahead and slide the battery back. You can kind of hear me make a little bit change in my voice because this battery pack is so massive. <laughs> so now that we've done that, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the display on the bike and uh, some of the other functions uh, as far as 
what you can do with the display. And real basic display, kind of dim. I'm going to peel off this coating, um, this membrane. There you go. Might be able to see that a little bit better. But it does show that the battery's full. Of course it is. And they've got some different settings here. I don't know if there's, there's the pedal assist. There's one, two, three. That's all it has as far as pedal assist. And then as far as menu, I don't see if there's anything there. Let's push both level. This is me just guessing. Yeah, you can see there's some different things that go on. One, two. Um, I'm sure there's codes that you can enter uh, to change some of the settings. All that's located in the manual. But I just wanted to show you mainly what the display looked like and how bright it was. Uh, as far as the uh, lights, um, let's go ahead and take a peek at those. I'm going to change the handlebar position. I don't really care for the way it was. I, I think I'd like it to be down a little bit more. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So the headlights, I'll go ahead and push the button for the headlights. Nothing comes up on the display that says the headlights are on, but there is... Uh, a projector beam in here of some kind let me see yeah that's a lot brighter than I expected for how little it was but nothing to write home about I would definitely run an auxiliary light there is a reflector on the back and it's purely a reflector and then of course an LED light in the back too no kind of no brake light which I didn't really expect that yeah, there's no brake light, just a, a standard light on there. A couple more things to point out on the bike. The gear shift, there is no gear shift. This is a single speed as far as the chain is concerned. There is, again, three pedal assists that you can change pretty easily with the display. All that's in the manual. It's very simple to understand. Uh, the other thing that this has, which is really cool for my big butt, not only is this pretty cushioned, but check this out. You do have a shock absorber that is air charged that's built into the seat post. Now we've seen this on other bikes um, and anything that would be bigger, I would want a real suspension. I would want suspension on the front. I would want rear suspension uh, like some of our other folding bikes. Um, I don't really care for the seat post being charged and uh, being where all the, the absorption is happening. But in the case of keeping it lightweight and small, there's really no other way to do it. So there's only one thing left to do. Heidi's looking forward to this. And that's me riding the bike. It is a twist throttle. Oh my God, it's got zip. I'm kind of surprised. I'm definitely surprised by how small this thing is. Oh my God, the brakes are very responsive too, which they should be. As far as pedal assist, uh, I don't see myself doing that too much, but they do have to have a pedal assist on here to make this an e-bike. Wow, this is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. So we'll go uh, up this little bit of a hill. Now I'll tell you what the display says. Oh, by the way, the display does have a USB charger for it too, so you can hook your phone up. And I am going up a hill and 14 miles an hour. Can you believe that? Now, I think there are some secret ways to unlock some more speed out of this if you want that. And uh, guess what? That's what I want. So at some point, I might uh, be doing an update video on this as far as the speed. But this is a much more comfortable ride than I thought. Sorry about the wind. Coming down this little hill. Yeah, 14 miles an hour, 15. It got me up to 15 miles an hour. Yeah, this is a lot better than I thought. Um, I still have to put some air in the tires, but the seat is comfortable. It's, it's perfect for my weight, um, although I'm closer to the bottom. And everything feels pretty good. The brakes are very responsive. The hardest part about it is still reading the display. And again, like I said, there is a USB on the display so you can charge your phone. You can put a phone mount on here and you can be charging your phone with that. Um, yeah, man, this is uh, this might be a keeper. This thing is so small. 
I can't see why we wouldn't keep this. Um, this is kind of a replacement of a scooter. So, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm kind of impressed. And here's the best part. You guys, you're going to get a kick out of this. What do you think the mileage is on this? What do you think it goes on a full charge with, say, Heidi riding it and pedaling it? Better yet, not pedaling it. Uh, unless she comes up to a hill. Let's say if she comes up to a hill. And the only reason I know this is I have seen numerous reviews on this and it is true. Whatever you guys typed, you're most likely wrong. This will go over a hundred miles, a true 100 miles on a single charge. And that's testament to how big this freaking battery is on this little lightweight bike. I mean, it, like I said, it's a 15 pound battery. So we're gonna have some links in the description inside uh, the, the descriptive box for the video. Uh, click that link, it'll take you direct to the bike. This is a killer bike. This is very, very nice for how small it is. And we have just went to the uh, Forest River Owners Group rally and we noticed that there was a lot of people up there that had smaller bicycles. And I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, some of them were okay but this one with this big battery has got to top them all by the way that is loud people are going to hear it the people on the trail are going to be upset there that's for sure because uh, it's a little bit obnoxious as far as that's concerned but yeah really really cool little bike we're going to show this thing uh, all buttoned up and put sliding it back inside the truck here but uh, we're going to show Heidi riding it first. Okay, so we got Heidi on this. She's going to give you her reaction. She's going to go ahead and take it for a little ride. Oh, my. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's not bad. I'm not sure that Michael pedaled, but I'm pedaling. It's pretty responsive. I feel a little strange on it, but um, I'll just do throttle on the way back. Wow, this thing's really neat. <laughs> it's a lot easier I feel a little awkward on it, um, but it's it's comfortable yeah. the seat is super comfortable I know. so in the current form that you see it here uh, I got to read from the paperwork uh, 49.6 inches so we'll say 50 inches that's going to be obviously the length that's the longest part and then we've got 23.3 inches of course that's going to be the width that's going to be the handlebars mainly and then um, 38.2 and that's going to be the uh, height you know the height of the bike when it's folded we're going to be at 27.6 so let's just say 28 because you always if you go out and buy something that's 27.6 inches it's not going to fit in it so get something that's 28 29 inches and i'm talking about like a tote 14.2 uh, that is a very small size and 27 so basically 28 14 27. So I've never done this before. Uh, I do know I need to turn it off, obviously. So we'll turn the key off. The display went off at that point. I'm not going to fold the handlebars yet. I will do the, the pedals. We'll go ahead and do the pedals, which are a lot easier than some of the other ones that we've had. The kickstand is down. The bike seat may have to come out. We'll have to we'll have to see. I'm not sure. This is a safety lock, and and if you remember, I had to kind of push that down in there. I don't want to uh, break this. There we go. So what I had to do is pull out on the handle a little bit because this thing is really uh, set up as a wedge shape to kind of make sure that thing does not come unlocked. It's a safety deal. Okay, so we got that. That seems pretty straightforward. All right, we're going to move the pedals this way. I'm not sure if that's the correct way, but yeah, I'm just not sure about where the pedals should go at this point. We'll, we'll try them, let's say, 
here. How about we do here? Now fold in half. That's pretty simple. At this point, I am putting up the kickstand in the back. Pretty simple. I don't know. This looks pretty easy to do. I'm going to change this pedal location. Let's go ahead and make it like that. Make it like that there. Yeah, we'll do that. And then the handlebars release the lock. They fold away and down. And that is really small. Now, if you want it even smaller at this point, I would recommend you taking the seat post out. The seat post can go pretty much anywhere. You know, you can just stick that at pretty much anywhere you want. And this is very small, but let's, let's leave the seat post on just for our, our situation here. Again, if you want to lighten this thing up by 15 pounds, remove the battery. That's it. That's pretty small. I guarantee this will fit in a pass-through. There's no doubt about it. And that's with the seat on also. And you can see, this is it. And if we wanted to, we actually have room that we could put other stuff in here too. Uh, but definitely much easier using this box. That's it. All right, two things other than what I've already covered. Uh, I didn't tell you this is a 350 watt motor. You know those scooters we have, those Segway scooters? Those are, those are 350 watt. But this does a very good job with it, and it's got that massive battery to push it. That's the number one thing. Uh, number two, I showed you that it was a 15 mile per hour ride with me on it. You can unlock this and get up to what they say 18, almost 19 miles an hour. I would assume if I unlock it, I could get it to 17 miles an hour. Again, that's something that you can do. Uh, the manufacturer has uh, a certain code that you enter to have that happen. So the motor has a one year warranty and the battery has a one year warranty. The bike itself, if there's a problem with it, contact them, especially within the first year. But the biggest cost you know that's involved with this is the motor and the battery so one year on each one of those and one year on the bike a one-year warranty that is caused by something that's failing not humans so if you're taking this and you're jumping curbs you hit you hit something you drop it off the back of your tailgate something like that's not gonna be covered under warranty i think that's common sense but people have a tendency to think that's what they do again links are down below for this i hope it helped you out we really like the way this thing looks. I think this might be a keeper for us. I think you're going to see us have this bike longer than some of the other ones that we've had in the past. So uh, we'll that'll see if that'll come to fruition. I'm not sure, but I really like the way this thing's put together. And it's so small and so light. Um, yeah, I, I think this is definitely a scooter replacement. Definitely. So if you guys have looked at my videos in the past on those Segway scooters, we love them. However, I could see this replacing that easily. That's it, and as always guys, we hope to see you out here. Bye.